Hello everybody. Welcome to Sweet A-Line Designs. Are you ready for a new technique using one of Close to My Heart's brand new product, the spray pen? I call this technique spray pen embossed resist. The first, here's the card that I made um, with this technique. I started with a January stamp of the month, Find Your Style, and created a background stamp by combining images from the new set. Here's what the new set looks like. And of course, one of my favorite parts of this new set is the dress form, since sewing is my very first love. So what I did is I created a background stamp. I took this saying here, plus love, sore, and friend, and it put it on one of our acrylic blocks. That's the beauty of the acrylic stamps. You can move them around, create your own background stamp, and then you can see what you're doing. What I wanted to do first is stamp my image onto the colonial white paper. It's two and a half by five inches and make sure you ink it up really well. I like to do that upside down. I get a better um, coverage with that. And then I'm going to center the stamp right here on the paper. Stamp it. Re-ink again upside down. Make sure you get a really good image because you'll have some faint spots or even blank spots. And then what I do is I stagger it just a little bit and stamp again. Then I re-ink the stamp and then stagger it to the left just slightly. Then the next thing I'm going to do is take the dress form image, which I put on an angle here on the block, and then I'm going to use a Versamark ink and I'm going to stamp again upside down. Then I'm going to stamp the image right in the middle of my collage background. Then I'm going to take the clear detail embossing powder, it looks like this, one of our Close to My Heart products, and I'm going to put it the tray in the tray and cover it with the embossing powder. Tap it a little bit. Remove any excess. Then I like to use needle nose pliers, but Close to My Heart is coming out with a brand new product, a set of tweezers, and of course it's on my wish list. And then sometimes what I'll actually do is I'll actually emboss from the bottom. And with the heat gun at the bottom, it doesn't tend to burn the paper. When I first started doing this, I thought I was burning the paper, but then I realized it's colonial white, so it is going to be a cream color on the front. So then just finish embossing your design so that you get a nice clear image. And with the detail um, embossing, you can this stamp is pretty well detailed. It'll show up after I add the ink. Okay, then I filled up my spray pen with about four drops of Create a Shade, about six drops of Vineyard Berry Reinker, and then I filled it with water up to about the ninth slash. Shook it up. Then one of my cheapest but favorite spray trays is a pizza box. I started getting these pizza boxes when I used a quilt. I never made big quilts. I just used, uh, used to make, um, oops, sorry about my arm there, uh, little wall hangings. And I'd cut out all the pieces, put them in the box, and then set them aside, never seeming to finish them. So they've come in handy. So now I'm just going to spritz it. And uh, sometimes I like the blobs. It really does make a nice, gives a nice effect, actually. Then I take, let it dry just for a few minutes, and then I take a paper towel. Sorry about that, looking for my paper towel. And see how it inks up there? Just bubbles up right there. And then I go back and I take off that ink. And your dress form shows through, has a little bit of the detail on the dress form as well as the background collage. 
then what I did is I let it dry and then um, to flatten it out <laughs> I basically took my iron and turned it over on the ironing board with a dry iron and ironed it flat and what I ended up with was something that looks like this added a little bit of a black bow a black mat around it and the mat is two and three quarters by five and a quarter then I used my standard card four and a half by or five, four and a quarter rather by five and a half and then I just added that to the card like so and then I took our opaques the licorice opaques which I felt like it looked like it needed something right about there so I used the pewter color and voila my finished card I hope you enjoyed my first attempt at a technique video and my very first video as well and I look forward to doing these at least once a month I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it too many more times than that but nonetheless stop back at www.adeline-brill.blogspot.com and where and besides you'll check out all the supplies etc thanks a lot see you again bye bye